Good afternoon and welcome back to Watch Dogs on PS4. Um, my name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addict, and we have remote profile and triggered. Nope. Uh, yeah, we are back with Watch Dogs, and you know what? I forgot my train of thought there from that little pop-up that came up. Crime detected. Uh, yes. Yeah, so in the previous episode, we hooked up with uh, Damien, who was. Aiden's partner in crime in the opening sequence of the film of the film of the game god almighty i'm talking utter bullshit today and he informed us that there was a second ha hacker at that particular crime who buggered things up for everybody get in so i am now taking a car and we are going to head off to the next story mission which is where would it be oh god it's right the way on the other side of the fucking map Ooh, I fear I may have to cut this out, because this is going to take fucking ages. I mean, the map is huge. I mean, this, the rendition of Chicago is fantastic. But Jesus Christ, it takes ages to get from one side to the other, especially given the way the driving is in this game. So yeah, I'm probably going to cut this out. Yeah, I'm just going to fucking tear, tear shit up here. Whee! Oh, up there. I've got a 4x4, four four, might as well go for it. Ooh. Ooh, fuck. Did not break your gates. Did not do that. Can't prove What the hell am I doing here? Resonator? Oh, this is the story mission. It's called Resonator. Oh yeah, more modeling shit from um, Aiden. Do you know who keeps leaving the flowers? No. But that girl has a lot of friends. Had. This is about letting go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible nightmare, but you have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden, I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger. Because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... I need to know. You are my brother. And I love you. But Jackson is my world and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. I killed her. No, you didn't. I don't blame you. But promise me you will stop. We need this as a family. I promise. Maybe she's right. Lena's dead. I can't change that. How do I just walk away? You got a problem. Survivor from the stadium. That guy talks, he'll ID you. Survivor? How did that happen? I'm guessing he didn't die. Now, relax, I got a plan. Meet me at Gorman Heights on the rooftop. Okay, so it looks like I didn't do a job properly enough, and... 
and now I have to go clean my own fuck up. Let's get back into this horrible SUV thing. You know, I mean, it. the story itself isn't bad. It's, you know, there's a lot of, um, I don't know how, how to describe it. There's a lot of those maudlin scenes with Aiden blaming himself. Uh, the problem is it's really hard to feel sympathy for a guy who, to put it frankly, is a colossal dickhead. I mean, he, he's trying to fight this good fight and trying to find out who killed his niece, and that's honourable. But then at the same time, he funds himself by hacking people's phones and stealing their money. You know, it's like, I know he's supposed to be an anti-hero, but most anti-heroes have a lot of redeeming qualities, and Aiden is really just a dickhead. You know, there's nothing more to him than that. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me being overly picky. Whoa, shit. The fuck? Right, okay, let's do the mission. That was a load of bullshit. Not the pizza guy. Where is he? Jordy can be a pain to work with. He's the devil I know. Things were different. I might be hunting him down. Or vice versa. But if he says we got a problem, I need to take it as a massive understatement. <laughs> Can't let this survivor ID me. Everything's gonna spiral out of control. Right, Claim to meet uh, Jordy on the patio. Jordy. Hi. Oh fuck. Jordy, who are they? Well, they live here. What happened? Well, security in these buildings is pretty tight, so. People like this feel nice and secure living way up here. I mean, these people just had a, a simple chain lock on their door. I guess they want to have a good look at the pizza guy before they open it all the way. All right, fine, sure. So about this problem. Well, that's why I brought the bolt cutters. He opens the door this much, there's a chain right there. I slip him in and snip, and guess what? It's not the pizza guy. Shorty, the problem is <laughs> deal with it. We are dealing with it. We're in the midst of solutions here, Pierce. You don't appreciate what I do for you. You don't realize how much I take care of you, do you? Really? Yeah. Well, do me a favor. Let's get on with it. How much time do we have? Well, as much as we need. Oh, you remember the stiff from the stadium? He's not so stiff anymore. The uh, cops got him in Chicago lockup, and oh, he's about to walk into an interrogation and point a finger right at you. How did that happen? Kick me when I'm down. Look at the view. See there? Call went out this morning. Somebody's paying Buku bucks to grab this clown and make him talk. And one of those guys is running the assignment. Well, it seems like me and him need to have a little chat. Yeah, but this time, don't do that empty gun thing. Poor Maurice pissed himself after your last show. Don't worry about my methods. You know how to use that thing? Just get your ass down there, I got you covered. And don't kill the boss this time. You kinda need him. You think? Okay. We gotta infiltrate a rail yard. Let's make this quick, okay? My balcony hosts are moaning and that stuff gives me migraines. I get a migraine, Pierce. I am useless to you. You think you're the only one who wants this quick? How should I know what you want? Not big on empathy, are you? Not particularly. What's up with this fixer contract? What are they looking for? You. Somebody wants to vigilante big time. They're about to fake a prisoner transfer to bust out the one witness who can ID you. I've never seen them gather up this kind of manpower, though. You know, I'll try and stop them. Listen, the witness knows my face. If the fixers reach him, if my name gets out there, they'll come after my family. Ah, uh, the F word. You're too sentimental, Pierce. That's a weakness. Somebody's gonna play that against you someday. I'll cover you where I can, but I can't see everybody. Alright, let's do this. 
Right, okay, so I'm entering a restricted area, so let's see what's about. Camera. Right, any that I can just kind of blow up. Heads up, got one incoming, you see him? I got this, I got this, don't come close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. This is like the best thing in the game, just blowing people up randomly. Let's see if I can get some people's attention. Camera there. Oh, that was the one I was just on. Let's try and spook some guards. Trying to operate flamethrowers. Should that not have destroyed this camera? Right. Uh, well, wrong thing. I didn't want to move to that camera. I wanted to stay on this one. That crane's off going ballistic. What's that? That's an exploder. Oh, hang on, there was an exploding thing over there. I think I'm probably just gonna have to sh fucking shoot my way through here. Well, he's over there and he's being kept busy. Trying to operate flamethrowers. Occupation, saboteur. Yeah, oh, I don't know if I can get over to him quickly enough. That's got his attention. Oh, come on, be quick, be quick, be quick, be quick. Let's do it all stealthy. Two of them down without being spotted. Corner. Is there a camera up here? Focus there. <laughs> How are doing that? You just blow up the generator.
That CCOS box is shit. Camera up there, come on, get the camera. <laughs> Can I explode any of you? And where's the profiler box? Guys can be exploded. I got this, I got this. Don't come close. <laughs> it's clear. Gonna check somewhere else. I thought I was gonna go. <laughs> That's brilliant. Looks clear. I'm heading that way. Okay, so that thing seems to go to there and oh there it is. I'm gonna come into here. There we go. Ooh, oh, my leg's gone. Ooh, that hurts. Hold on, hold on. Stop. Who's the sign of the prison jail? What? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Family. What are you doing? I'm asking you how your family is. Looks like you got two lives going at once, family man. And the kids are going to be in college soon. It's pricey for a union rep. Fuck you. And there's also the second life. Ghost accounts with a lot of money in them. Hey. Do you know that your name is tied to a whole bunch of cold cases? I bet the cops would love a chat. Okay, hold on. You want a piece of the cash? I can cut you in. You're wasting my time. All right, all right! Fuck. Prison job. It's Angelo Tucci. He's running a convoy. It's too late. You'll never find him. Who says I want him? Bet he's got a family in town. Why do you want his family? The fuck is wrong with you? I wouldn't know where to begin. <laughs> Wake up, Pierce. More fixtures incoming. How bad? Remember Kinderhook? Shit. I don't know what Kinderhook is. Okay, so we have a helicopter. So he seems to be shooting wildly at anybody. So he's dead. As uh, these guys are better be. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, so we need to get away now. But they're going away so they don't get any police attention. We have a helicopter we need to get away from. 
Around the scene. That one will do. Get the fuck out of here. Whoa! Right, okay, so we have cars. Eee. Yeah, vehicle takedown. Got rid of that one. Right, okay, we need to uh, really, really lose this fucking helicopter here. Whoa. Run him off the road! Oh, Christ. Ha 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 ha. Hey, who wants that work? Alright, we need to get underground. Get away from the helicopter. Fuck! Yikes. Can't go that way. I thought I'd shut the door. I won't close the fucking door on you. Fuck. Fucking hell, man. This car's gonna fucking bite it if I don't get out of the fucking way of this helicopter. We could use some help. Drive into it, do it. Right, who's being told to drive into me? Because I'm pretty sure a helicopter can't drive into me. Not like I'm still getting away. Right, where next? Whoa! Looks like a Subaru. Hey, yeah, did that. How the hell am I supposed to get away from all these guys? Pretty sure that's not somewhere I'm supposed to drive from. Fuck! Got those traffic lights. Watch it! Drive him off the road! Go! Fuck, I'm out of battery on my car as well. Out of battery on my phone, rather. Jesus. Ah. Right, come on, let's get out of here. Well, right there. Can I have the helicopter? Oh, fuck this. Just go. And we got visual. Damn, we had him. Just kind of mask me trail. Call it off. He's gone. Oh, hey. Look, that beat the shit out of this. Hey, mm. you never called me back. Did you find the guy we traced? Yeah, some bad history there. Listen, I need to find someone else. This time I have a name, Helena Tucci. 
She's related to a guy I'm after. Does she live in Chicago? Yeah, I need a location right now. Got her. Wow, she's got a serious digital footprint. Okay, this morning she posted about a meeting today outside the Willis Tower. All right, I'll call you when I'm there. You may need more help. Right, okay, so I, I'm going to leave it there after that particularly frantic chase and my legs going to sleep. So, uh, for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do leave a like and subscribe, and come back soon for more Watch Dogs. But for now, good night.